Hello and welcome to the York County SPCA. I have been with the shelter for over 25 years and during that time I have seen and been a part of many changes, but the one thing that has not changed is the importance of volunteerism. We have hundreds of animals in our care, but a relatively small staff to take care of them. So the time that you can provide to us is very impactful. Thank you so much for helping us to enrich the lives of our shelter dogs. My guess is they will in turn enrich your life as well. So be safe, have fun, and please know that we appreciate all you do. Now the SPCA. Volunteers are the foundation that allow this organization to have such a broad and wide impact on our community. As a new dog walking volunteer, you are about to be trained for what can be one of the most physically demanding jobs and yet rewarding within the shelter. As we prepare you for your first walk, we'll take you back to the kennel. It can be a little intimidating. It's noisy, the dogs are extremely excited to see you, and there's going to be a lot for you to observe and learn. So we've prepared a short video instructing you on how to bring the animals in and out of our kennel. Watch closely. The volunteers in this video make these tasks look very easy. Over the next several weeks, you will become skilled at these tasks. I encourage you all to enjoy your time with the animals, and I look forward to seeing you around the ship. Let's start by taking a look at the layout of the dog kennels at our shelter. In this floor plan view, the lobby is on the left and the dog kennels are on the far right. Starting at the top of the kennel wing, we have the quarantine area, and below that we have the short side with 22 kennels. And then we have what we call the long side with 34 kennels. At the very bottom, you'll see the small dog room with 18 kennels. The laundry room is the hub of the kennel for staff and volunteers. Not only is laundry done in this area, but also food prep and cleaning and storage and volunteer sign-in. There are five doors in and out of the laundry room, and this is confusing for most new people. Adjacent to the laundry room is a room where the dogs can be bathed easily. The red arrow shows the route that we use to exit the building to walk the big dogs. The small dogs use the route shown with a black arrow to exit the building. And the blue arrow is the route that all walkers use to return dogs to their kennel. And the blue arrow is also the route that you use to enter the building when the uh, shelter is closed and the front doors are locked. In this photo, you can see on the left the door that the small dogs use to exit the building and look for the door on the right, which is the door that the big dogs will come out of. <laughs> Here's Michael starting his dog walking by signing in the sign-in book and grabbing some poop bags. We walk each side of the kennel starting at the far end and working toward the laundry room. Hey, Jody. Normally the dogs have access to both sides of their kennel, which is divided by a small guillotine type sliding door. Of course, when the walkers arrive, the dogs get very excited and very loud. To prepare the kennel for walking, we move the dogs to the public side and close the guillotine door. So to walkers, it appears as though the inside aisle, uh, the kennels are empty. After walking, the dogs are returned to the kennel and again have access to both sides of their space. On each kennel door, there is important information for you to review. Each walk starts by placing your initials on the calendar. The blue or pink cards contain information about the dog. The I am strong sticker is a warning that this dog may be physically demanding to walk. This kennel contains two male dogs. And this yellow card indicates that we are concerned about possible aggression from this dog and volunteers do not walk yellow card dogs. Pretty easy. 
is making this look pretty easy too. And notice how she walks the dog out, placing the dog right in the center of the aisle, just in case there's dogs in any of the adjacent kennels. And as she comes through the laundry area, she'll keep the dog on a very tight leash because there's so much other activity that could be going on in this laundry area. To get from the laundry room to the exit door, you have to walk past three very excited dogs who are waiting for their own turn. We walk the dog against the outside wall to separate the dog from the kennel. Now Barb does a very nice thing here at the exit door. The dog wants to push its way out the door and control the walk. But Barb exits the door first and only allows the dog to exit when it surrenders to Barb's control. It's a real split second thing and timing here is everything. We're going to watch it in slow motion. Not yet. Not yet. There, he surrendered. Out we go. So here Mark is reading the information about the dog. And then he's going to sign the calendar. He opens the sliding door and removes the lock uh, from the hasp on the door. And then Mark uses the classic uh, technique that we teach. He has one raised knee to block the opening in the gate. He has one knee on the floor to keep the gate from swinging open. And that gives him two hands to leash up the dog. And you really need two hands to leash up the dog. And there we go. That's it. That you return your dog to its assigned kennel. Look for your signature on the calendar when you return the dog. Many walkers do as Barb is doing and leave a marker on the kennel door. Observe the short leash that Barb uses to control the dog in the kennel and on through the laundry room. When your walk is completed, this is the route that you will take to return to the kennel. To get from this door to reach the laundry room, you have to walk past three dogs. So you need to keep the dog that you're walking along the outside wall to prevent cage fighting with the dogs in the kennel. Okay. Let's talk about the small dog room. These dogs have smaller kennels and they get walked three times a day. Sarah has already signed in as a volunteer in the laundry room. There are supplies in the cabinet such as poop bags. She chooses the dog to walk and reads the dog's information. Then Sarah initials the wall to indicate the dog has been walked. The dog kennels are locked, so volunteers need a key to open the doors. Okay. 
Small dogs can be deceiving because they do not look dangerous. But some small dogs can be very fearful and you cannot ignore the dog's demeanor. And this really is a small dog. Sarah is carrying this dog to the exit so that it isn't intimidated walking past the big dogs in the kennels. you're walking. So let's have fun and let's be careful out there. And remember we need you to make sure we walk every dog every day. <laughs>